Yeah. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson here. I still got the Rona. I haven't been shaving. What about you? Have you been shaving too? Come here. I mean, definitely not my hair. No. I have a buzzer. It's pretty easy. Well, guys out there, you guys got to make sure that you're not going outside very much and getting those haircuts because they're very dangerous. You could get hurt. Um, we're going to talk about lake passing, Anton. Yeah. So here, let's go. So guys, I did one lake pass. Funk, Abbas roll. Okay. Abbas told us that story. It was incredible. If you guys have not seen it, uh, I got Abbas on the phone. He told us this amazing story about how he brought the funk to Minnesota and it kind of spread from there. Nowadays, most people are calling it Lake Pass. Am I right? Yeah. A lot of people call it Lake Pass. I call it. So funk, funk roll, Lake Pass, or for the Cali people, we, we sometimes still call it the Abbas roll, but actually not anymore. I think it's kind of dying out. So it's pretty much the funk or Lake Pass. All right, what is the Lake Pass? Uh, basic, if, if he goes double leg, you know, and you're trying to sprawl, but the guy puts us down right here. So come around, yeah. See, this leg becomes an issue for him. If he doesn't hide that foot, you know, and, and come around and finish his takedown, let's say I have either a, a nice waist here, or sometimes even guys a lock around the crotch, they're looking at that leg and they're like, you know what? Before he secures my leg, see a lot of times he'll secure your leg and then you're done. You might be able to leg pass from here, but the point is in a wrestling match that gives him his two points. So I can control this leg a number of ways. I can have this one go here, this one here. Some people do the lock, like I talked about. Again, I really like to attack the ankle and, and his knee, he doesn't like that. When you pull the knee out, like if I were to pull his ankle that way, that's bad for his hip and his joint. So when I'm here and I'm pulling, it starts to make him roll, okay? Now, if he back steps like this in a wrestling match, he does have a lot of good counters, but let's, <laughs> but before we go into that, what do most guys do? They feel like they're gonna get rolled, so they kind of straighten out their leg and they let it float over. As it floats over, I'm ending up here with the leg on this side. He may still be some control of my legs. You know, I wanna hide my feet and build up and get up on my knee and then come on out the back door. You know, sometimes you guys will come out the back door and go this way. And sometimes you'll come out the back door and go this way. So now I'm going to Anton. Here's a, here's, no, I'll come to you. So we'll go back and forth so they can see. Look, I come in on the shot. I'm taking him down. He grabs it, he leg passes and builds up. Okay, just like that. As he builds up, boom, he can get his control and I'm forced down. Okay. He comes to me for a double leg. Sometimes guys go straight for it. Uh, like Jesse Delgado, man, he would like dive over and pull right away and end up in this position. Sometimes capturing both feet so that in a wrestling match, he can hang on to stalemates, you know, cause it's hard for Anton to do much. You know, if you were Nation Garrett right now, you'd be like standing up trying to get me in a spine lock like a scorpion, you know, trying to pull my leg up. Yeah, Boston Crab. But the referees never allow you to do this um, in a wrestling match for very long, you know. And if, if I'm able to come up, you know, I might be able to get some control. See how I reach back right here? And I control the hip. And then boom, I can turn and get my control. So. That's off the double leg, but what if it's a high crotch? Can he do it off of a high crotch? Would it change? What do you do, Anton? What if you're here? I mean, my, so my thing is I always sprawl first, but then if my sprawl doesn't work, then I can go leg pass, right? So right away, first sprawl, oh, good boy. Leg pass, boom, see that? So I guess I did it kind of fast too. So this is, this is where we're gonna end up, beginners, right? We're just learning a leg pass. We got all the way through. This is kind of the position we end up in. We don't want to stay here for long because he's kind of going to be in a similar position close to my ankles. Now I want to build up as fast as I can. All right, so I like to post here. Knee slide up, try to get out, right? We can play this right here though. We'll talk about obviously in jiu-jitsu this isn't good. In wrestling, this is okay. This is completely okay here because we can switch and just use this as a ramp. 
We can also put our outside leg up, same thing. Put our ear on the other side, tap, and I call it a hip wizard. The Brian was already showing, right? We go here, I got stuck. Same leg, opposite side, hip wizard. Yeah, I can't go anywhere. So this, yeah. is, this is really good control in wrestling, I mean, jujitsu probably too, right? I, mean, no. I, have, I have the whole body locked down for now. In wrestling, it's easy. All I gotta do is, I mean, I can just let go. Now I got two points. Or, reps depending, right? I can drive right now. Yeah. Now I'm on top as well. Yeah. Get my points. So. But so if, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's just, it, I'm just trying to warn people. I think I have some footage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run you, you guys with the boys actually drilling it and doing the flow drill where they go from leg pass to leg pass to leg pass. So I'll probably roll that to them. But just because a double leg or head outside, it could be head inside. Like guys, I don't want you to get confused that if I shot a single leg and I was here and my leg's here, he could still, still go for that same leg pass. It's still possible, okay? Sometimes we both end up into, into uh, scrambles yeah. You know, but again, it could happen. If this leg is here, you know, it's theoretically possible I could just take this leg and then leg pass. And now I'm in the position to try to come out of that door. As he wanted to do it too, he could do it as well. Okay, he could leg pass it either direction and create uh, an opening. So it's the subject of a lot of stalemates in wrestling yeah. nowadays when both guys get entangled. And then you're seeing like this in the college level, you're seeing like, Dude, some knees are just looking like they're gonna get blown sometimes. And then sometimes the referee has to step in and stop it, so. Yeah, I think, I mean, the basic part, I guess the two ways you you like to grab, like clips. Yeah, let's talk about the stuff. grips. Yeah, because I think let's that's really important. I mean, you, like the old school way, like Abbas was showing, I think, right, he, he likes that, like this guy right here. I. It might work for some people. I just think this is really hard and you're using a lot of muscles. Because if he gives me a good sprawl here and just gets yeah. his leg back, like, I can't pull this over. He just needs to lean back a little. Yeah. And sprawl, then I'm using my body. And in wrestling, I'm stuck on my back. This is bad. Right, jiu-jitsu, one thing, but wrestling is another. Right, we might be able to pull it, but the fact is, he can curl his leg and now it's really yeah. difficult for me to pull him over to the top. I'm yeah. trying to use all Sometimes my guys are getting caught in this like little reverse half Nelson. You know what I mean? Like, you roll over to your right. And their, oh, their yeah, foot, the foot, posts, yeah. their foot no, like, catches them, like what we call a reverse half Nelson. It's like doing the same thing what my arm would do if he was on his back. I'm doing it with my leg. And right. he can't, he can't no, get, yeah, if he no, can't get all the yeah. way over, eventually he may panic. And if he turns back into me, he might run into the cross face problem. When he comes this way, I have to sprawl into the cross face. Yeah. But, and that's, prob that's pr the biggest reason I think I don't like that one. And then the, the two other ones that I guess we were talking about, right? whether it's double, high crash, whatever, I fall. So we have the option, you know, we can grab here first and extend the leg. That's now, what we want. Yeah, yeah. now the leg's weak, right? Yeah, I have no power to stop you from right. making that rotation. And now my outside arm right here, this, this stays on the sock or the ankle, whatever, is gonna come inside right here. And I'm gonna use my toes. My, my, my feet aren't out like this either, right? Because I have no, no power right here. I'm always driving. Because if I do still hit this leg pass, and this is straight, but he's resistant, I need this leg, leg power right here to come through. Yeah, right? Now I can start knee sliding from a clock if I need to. But if we, if we just fall on our hip with somebody good, right? They double us, we fall on our hip like this, right? We go from leg pass, yeah. but our legs are up here, right? We can, we can even grab this. We have it pretty deep, right? But if we're not using our legs and just our arms and uses this whole body, right? If he's resisting here, I'm not gonna be able to pull it over. I gotta start using my legs to peel this up. Oh. Over the top. Yeah. And then there's a kind of a look at, oh, getting caught on the shirt. There's a kind of a look at like, you know, he may not always pop out the back door because I may come up with him, but you notice he's now got this uh, single leg of sorts, right? It's kind of like a reverse grip. He's holding it like backward the other way. Yeah, he's holding it like this. And then he can build that. He can build it into any other type of single leg there. He's testing my flexibility right now. Yeah, so from there you can finish. You can turn it into a single leg. Um, one thing I'm gonna show you. I'll show you guys one more thing because it's gonna end up going real long. 
uh, is just showing how it's kind of similar to jujitsu. In jujitsu, I'll get a guy on my guard, and again, once you guys are here, the guy does a stand up, right? Because he wants to open your guard. So, classic defense. This is nothing. Uh, it might look fancy, but it's not like unknown, guys. So, come around here just a little bit. I'm going to underhook one of his legs. Remember, this is a leg pass. A leg pass leg, it's the same leg. I underhook it, I'm gonna do the funk. The guy's trying to stand up in posture to open the guard, like stand all the way up. And he's trying to force my legs open. If I swing and spin, I now have this, I'm on my knees and I've got his leg. I may lift and come out the back. And the same thing happens. In wrestling, we'll, you know, we'll run him to his back, try to catch him on his back but that wouldn't come from a wrestling start, but it's the same position. I could limp on and now, boom, we pass guard. So, I, Anton, you've never done this one exactly, but he already knows it because he's wrestled. So watch this. He's in the guard. I'm trying to stand up. He underhooks, he just does a backward roll. Yeah, instead of going there, no. instead of powering my leg over, yeah. just backward roll. Backward so underhook and then kick over and backward roll. And you end up, Right here. Now look, that's it. Good. You see that? So there's so there's so many ways how this mixes with jujitsu. And then on another video, because it's gonna take too long, we're gonna talk about some of the dangers. And that way you can still use this move and not get caught. Because it's really important we don't get caught. We don't wanna just hang on to the leg and like a lot of wrestlers do. They in wrestling, they hang on because they want to get stalemates. They don't feel like they can progress and get a takedown or reversal, so they hang on. And when you hang on, uh, bad, 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 bad for jujitsu. So, anything left you want to talk about? We talked about grip. Do you want to do like a quick, easy defense, or do you want to save it? Just like a really, just put your knees together. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That's pretty Let's easy. do that. Right. Okay. So, guys, look. Uh, he's gonna. You can start with it. He goes here. I'm sprawling. Boom. I'm able to pass. He, uh, go ahead, you can talk him through it. Okay, so, yeah. really slow motion. Uh, I would have had the leg, right? But I noticed that he's gonna straighten my leg out and he's about to hit this leg pass. All I'm gonna do, my left knee, gonna catch up to my right knee, they're gonna go together. And I'm gonna flex my heels to my butt. So he hits it, I'm just gonna get it. So now, I'm in this good, safe, comfortable position in wrestling, really easy bottom shoulder. Right, this is super dangerous in wrestling because you could have someone really strong in the bottom, but if you catch this bottom shoulder right here, he can fight for his life. Yeah, I don't care right, what he so does. Cool. I just I just go for it. So much leverage. Right? Most of the time he's just gonna let go of his leg. Yeah. Right, go to his stomach. He's gonna bail. Uh, I don't know the jujitsu application there, but I guess yeah. you can trap on We're gonna get into that. Yeah. 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 But, but it's super it's so, it's so easy. It's and you're everybody doing that. tries to flow. What's really important is he's gonna do that before I gain the momentum to build up. Yeah. He can't be late to the party. Yeah, we got it. We're, we're doing it together. So ask, if, ask you like, uh, yeah. we'll just cut that guy. Yeah. So, so ask he gets the leg pass. If, yeah, guys, look, if he does it but is late, let's say I was able to get to here and he tries it now, but I've already made it to here. Now he's trying to hip heist and cross face, and I've already built up like you're late to the party. He wants to catch me here. You know, like when I'm late passing it, he's already caught me. Look at. Look at this. And it's easy. You just you just go with your opponent. They're leg passing you. Put your knees together. Or together. Action coming up. Together. Together. It's Minnesota. Minnesota or Chelyabinsk. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Heels heels together. Knees together. Heels to the butt. I can't even take my arm out yeah. right now if I wanted to this right is, now. This is trap. Wrestling right away. This guy's I, I, this guy's gonna belly out. He might hold it for a second if he thinks he's tough. Yeah. All right. Right here. Just like guys hold that opposite grip. Yeah, right, but this this sucks. This you're gonna yeah. go to your back. Now I'm gonna go to my back, so I'm probably gonna bump yeah. and get back to here. Yeah, it's really so, easy. It's just we we don't. Like, uh, a lot of people, if you don't know, you don't know, right? Right. We try to flow. The first thing the is ankles. float and balance. Right. Like don't don't get flipped over. Like the basic wrestling. Like don't go to your back. Yeah, go to your back. This is a. But the, what he's doing, he's going with the flow. He's he's kind of back stepping with it and going with the flow. So. That's a lot. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna have to cut it right here, and then uh, too we'll, much leg pass. Yeah, we'll we'll bring it back because there's definitely more to go. 
All right, guys, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. This was not planned whatsoever. Anton and I, we just bounced stuff off of each other and flow from there. I had a basic idea. I wanted to do leg pass, and this is what came out today. We got more for you guys next time. Thank you so much. Click the link down below on Patreon and PayPal. Contribute to this channel. Keep this channel going. Thank you so much for all of you guys that already do, and we'll be back for more with more great stuff. We're out.